ब्रायन नमस्ते 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 स्कूल पीछे फिर खाने पानी ये ठाव को मानी ज्यादा दुख पाई चाहे नामला फाउंडेशन ने महसूस करें अभी यहाँ को मानसर चाहे खाने पानी को एटा योजना दिखे भर नाम मिशन इज टू अफलिंग दिविंग स्टैंडर्ड अफ रूरल पीपुल नाम हेज थ्री सैक्टर्स एडुकेट इंपावर एंड डेवलप It's been a very good uh, synergistic partnership with NAMLO in that we bring our engineering expertise and they bring their uh, capacity building expertise. Yeah, it's like a holistic doing people each other helping each other and getting things for good. The current situation of women and villages is very bad. It's really hard to understand what it's like to have your water source far away. It is very difficult for them to get to water. They have to spend lots of time to carry water. Children, instead of instead of the studying, they spend more time to carry the water. When we have the drinking tap near, then it makes us easier to carry water. In our village, too much water problem. If water is available here, first of all, directly, is profit going to be the women's? For the women, it will be very like a lot because right now, though they do have a health issue, they don't have a time. They have to go to water source and they have to carry water. That's why many women they are having a health issue like back pain, leg pain. If we get a good drinking waters, 90% of our people's health will be developed, will be healthy. If we could help them for the regular supply of water then this may change their life so i think this way we can help them technically this project was extremely challenging the distance to the water and the elevation from the source of the water up to the top of the village is pretty extreme it's 300 meters almost a thousand feet and in order to accomplish this, we had to actually put in three pumping stations. So at the base where we have the water source, we have a pump powered by a solar array. And then we move that up about 100 meters to an intermediate tank where we have a second pump, second solar array. We move that up another 100 meters to a third pump, third solar array. And then we move that up to a series of collection tanks on the hill above the village. So once we get the water up there, it's a simple gravity feed down to seven tap stands that are spread throughout the village. And when that is finished, instead of going down the hill an hour and back up the hill an hour carrying a load of water, uh, each person in the village will be able to walk 50 to 100 yards and have access to water, which is very exciting. I'm working here as a supervisor for that and I'm also, I also feel excited to work with them because they are doing the hard work. So for this water project, they are contributing some money by whatever they can and they are also contributing their non-skill labor. They go early in the morning to the project site, construction site, they are carrying a mower, they are carrying a cement, they are breaking a rock, they are screening the sand, uh, they are also helping the machine to mix the concrete.
this all complete and they can drink water. Yes, we will be happy. Yeah. Every time all the pain will go. That is a lot of fun. Fun, 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 Uh, one example of NAMLO's work that has uh, really helped us that we couldn't have done without is that they were able to have the community organize a water committee that um, gets together on a regular basis, makes decisions about the water system, the, the, collect the fees, they'll be responsible in the future when we leave of the maintenance and operation of the entire system. Okay, I am a secretary of water committee. I give uh, information to our every blazer peoples what they will be going to work for tomorrow and what they will do for the water tanks. They are also dealing with the government actually. At the local level, they are dealing with the PDC level, village development committee. They are also dealing with the district level committee. Besides the non skill level, uh, they are also dealing with the government and the other stakeholders. I talked with the people and they told me that they believe it will change their lives some way, somehow. They will not have to spend their time to carry water. Children, they will have a time to study. When we lift the water from here, I think they will, they will, they can save their time. It will help the community to really thrive and grow and they have uh, started a sewing center and a weaving center. They are planning to um, start vegetable gardens and, and set up grey water distribution systems. And uh, improve their health clinic, improve the secondary school that was recently built. Uh, we had very old school uh, like that. We got help from Namla Foundation and now we have new building. They are getting a water, they are getting a good school, they do have a vocational training center. So in 10 years, um, I think the villages will get, uh, the health issue, health issue will be reduced and the more children will get education. So there will be very less percentage of the uneducated people. Like Ill, uneducation people, uneducated people. Uh, students will be active and uh, they will be um, active person in the future and they will help the community in the future we have. I want to be the civil engineer and to make many buildings here bridge for my community society. Here is not peace road I want to make and to develop here. I think we're going to leave here with um, real hope and excitement for what lies ahead for this community. <laughs> I'm
सहयोग करूँ भाई मैं वहाँ प्रति आभार भी व्यक्त करद